Gather around, everyone. Here we begin our historical look at the rise and fall of the invisibility cloak. As you know, these first cloaks were created by the military using nanotechnology. And in the mid-21st century, they became available to the public. These first cloaks were prohibitively expensive and available only to the wealthiest members of society, like celebrities who were looking to escape the public eye. For example, Jillian Steinholm, the most iconic swimming pool model of her day. Hello, madam. Uh, uh, yes, I'd like to enjoy the day while um, escaping the public eye. Of course, madam. You'd like to rent one of our invisibility cloaks. Yes. This park is full of famous people, just like yourself. Actors, singers, politicians, all wanting the opportunity to be in the public without being bothered by the public. Oh. Oh. Hey, who's that over there? Well, I do have to respect their anonymity, but those old gents over there are Mr. LeBron J and a Shaquille O. Ooh. Unfortunately, we don't have cloaks large enough for men of their stature, but why don't you try this one on? Uh. Enjoy your afternoon. Ow! Of course, society could clearly see the invisible possibilities, and as the cloaks eventually became cheaper, this led to the Invisibility Cloak boom. Invisicloak, the most affordable invisibility solution for all of your everyday needs. Do you want to sneak into work just a few minutes late without your boss noticing? Invisicloak, do you want to steal just one more of your wife's delicious cookies? Invisicloak. Do you want to hide an unsightly pimple from your prom date? You look amazing. Thank you. Invisicloak! And now, new Invisicloak for bashful dogs! <laughs> Invisicloak! The way people use technology is determined by their values. And not everyone saw eye to eye about using invisibility cloaks. Society struggled to make rules for using the cloaks appropriately. Law enforcement had trouble regulating the cloaks, and by the turn of the century, Congress had banned them entirely. This is one of the last ones manufactured in the United States. Of course, the cloaks really became obsolete with the invention of omnivision glasses that allow us to see through anything, a technology we've all come to know and love today. Are there any questions? Yes. Are those Fruit of the Looms you're wearing? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings me to my final question. How do you decide the appropriate use of new technologies? Think about it. Now, new Invisicompass, so you'll never know where you're going.